Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking to you about the importance of what you can be doing right now in the Christmas holiday to maximize your chances. At interview if you're in year 13 or on a gap year, and if you've applied to med school already, or if you're in year 12. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So before I start, I'd just like to remind you guys that I am working at the moment with Medic Collective, although this is completely unsponsored. It's basically the one and only guide you need for applying to med school. We direct you as to where the best resources are, so different websites you can be using, different books you should be reading, essay competitions you can be doing, all of that kind of thing. And it's all on one single website for you, for free, the best resource you can use. I highly recommend it, so I will link our website link down below. I will also put a link to my previous video about how the website works up above. Okay, so let's get started with this video. So for those of you who have just applied to med school and who may be in year 13 or on a gap year, or if you've gone through the grad route, what you are probably doing right now is thinking, oh my God, I'm meant to be having interviews right now or like in January to March and I don't know where to start, I don't know what to do, or maybe you've had some interviews already and those of you that applied to Oxbridge might have had your interviews. And the best advice I can give to you right now is don't worry, keep going, keep going as you are. You've got this far, they've given you interview invites because you're good. You're a good candidate, you clearly look good on paper and they want you to do well. So trust yourself, look after yourself, start looking at NHS top topics, start looking at the history of medicine, start looking at your motivations to do medicine, read over your personal statement, keep looking at the things you've done previously and get prepared for interviews. And again, I will link down below the uh, Medic Collective page on interview advice and I might make a video on that in the future as well. But best of luck to all of those of you who are in year 13 or on a gap year or at the grad route who have applied to med school and are having interviews at the moment. You've done really well to get an offer for an interview, so keep going, believe in yourself, you've got this. Okay, now for those of you who are in year 12, something you could be doing is thinking about the super curricular activities that can boost your personal statement and make you stand out from the crowd against everyone else in your position. So what is a super curricular activity? A super curricular activity isn't like extracurricular, that's the kind of things where you might, I don't know, go out after school and play badminton or learn piano or do some arts and crafts. That's kind of extracurricular, that's quite a traditional thing, a lot of people know what that is. And they're great because they keep you kind of balanced and grounded and they make sure that you're not working all the time but you don't really gain any transferable skills from them whereas a super curricular shows you're interested in your subject beyond what you're taught at school so for example an essay competition would be an example of a super curricular activity or reading about the history of genetics beyond your a-level syllabus would be a super curricular activity doing epq is a sort of super curricular activity because you're doing your own research about something maybe medical related that you aren't taught within your courses at sick form or at college. So the best one I'm going to be talking about today is essay competitions. Now when I was in year 12, I think in the summer of year 12, I entered an essay competition with Imperial College London. I came third and I wrote my essay on the role of medicinal cannabis in treating epilepsy and the kind of ethical dilemmas behind it. And it didn't, it wasn't very long, it was less than two sides of A4 but it was really useful in showing me how to construct a very good, concise essay that gets the point across. And those of you that are thinking of coming to maybe more academic and more traditional medical schools, Oxford, Cambridge, Imperial UCL, you will probably end up doing quite a lot of essay writing in your time. I certainly write a lot of essays probably one every fortnight during term and then for my exams I have to write at least two per paper. So essays are a big part of what I do and it's mostly because doctors need to be able to communicate ideas to their patients in a clear and concise way. So essay competitions are a really good way to show medical school that you've got the skills, you've already learned how to write an essay or at least tried. And um, if you enter more, you have a higher chance of doing well and getting a prize or coming high up, scoring well. So the next thing I think you guys should be doing if you are still applying to medical school in terms of like wider reading and super curriculars, please, please keep up to date with the news. You cannot afford to turn up to an interview and not know what they're asking you. Maybe this applies even more to year 13s and people in gap years and grad students. Um, equally, don't just focus on COVID because COVID is kind of a very recent thing. It's only been around for just over two years now. So don't just focus on COVID. You need to be focusing on the more traditional medical interview questions as well. Thinking about in terms of the news, there's a lot about treatments, there's a lot about um, euthanasia, 
uh, there's a lot about the cost of the NHS, general practice is a big one. So it's a really good idea to look for news articles on those topics as well as um, COVID. So that's another good tip. Next thing, I will now above link my video that I did about a year ago, I think, for books. So there's loads of books you guys should be reading. And as you're on holiday right now, I think it's really good that you do some reading for fun rather than reading for like studying through A-level exams or whatever. So some really good books, which I've mentioned before, are When Breath Becomes Air, Trust Me I'm a Junior Doctor, This Is Going To Hurt, and If You're Feeling Festive, Twas The Night Shift Before Christmas, both very good, by Adam Kay. Oh yes, The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks, that's about a woman who basically, they used her stem cells, uh, no, not her stem cells, her cells, she had a rare form of cancer and her cells were um, like the ideal cell to clone. So there's now a bunch of cells all around the world that are being used in labs called the HeLa cells and it's like H-E was the first two letters of her name and then L-A from her surname. So these like HeLa cells and they are her cells but she was a, a black woman at the time, they never asked for her consent or anything and her family never got credit for her, the use of her cells but they're like they've saved countless lives around the world. So there's a book about that. So there's loads of cool stuff you guys should be getting involved with and reading over the holiday and having a really good time. And then my final, final, final bit of advice is, as I've said before, please look after yourselves. You may have mocks coming up in January, you may have already done them. If you've already done them, make sure that you rest and recover. If you've got them coming up, work hard. And remember that if you've got any invitations to interview, you are good enough. They want you, they've invited you because they think you're capable of going. So show them that you are. If you have any questions, ping them my way, drop them down below, get in touch with us on the Medic Collective website and I will see you guys all soon. Which reminds me actually, my next video is going to be a really fun one, so keep your eyes peeled. I'm not going to leave too much away but it's going to be another kind of Cambridge Christmassy type one because we've had Christmas here in Cambridge already. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope you found it useful. Get cracking on with those essays, with that reading and I will see you all next time. Bye! So the best, uh, no, no. So the big, um, uh, um, uh, um, 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 okay. Next thing.